Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is a card of communication. Someone could be reaching out, wanting to really get clarity or give clarity, but they do want to kind of um, express themselves and communicate with you. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So this could be someone who, you know, you, you spend some time away from. With the Hermit being here, there's an energy of someone who took time to go within and to introspect and to learn about themselves and came out more wise and more mature and more capable of having, you know, difficult conversations. Um, this could be around a relationship. They could be you could be getting clear on what your goals are when it comes to relationships. Um, but there's someone coming towards you. You know, we have two aces here. It could be a new beginning or a new person or someone you, you know here who wants to have a new beginning with you. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Okay, we have the Five of Cups, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So it does look like it's someone you know who's coming towards you and wanting to give you, to have some sort of communication with you. Um, there could have been high hopes here that this connection would have turned into something more, like the Ten of Pentacles. And it looks like it didn't get that opportunity because we're seeing someone who has regrets about the past. Someone who is feeling uh, quite down and... Um, they're stuck on this situation, which is why they do want to kind of clear the air. Okay, so let's see. We have the Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Four of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Five of Wands, Fire Energy. So there could have been conflict between you and this person. Um, and this person does want to come towards you and uh, work it out. They are hoping that you guys can still get back to a good place, get back to stability and commitment. Um, but there's definitely some sort of conflict that needs to be addressed first. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Taurus. Okay, we have a time for healing, balsamic moon. So there could be a time here where someone is recognizing that they need to heal from this. You could have also taken this hermit approach to try to heal from the situation because it looks like something that at some point there was a lot of promise and potential. And when it didn't, you know, amount to what you had hoped, it could have really hurt you. And this hurt them too. And there is also a fear that there's, there's now possibly competition, um, but they still do want to revisit this. Okay, so let's see.
Okay, we have let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, we have devotion and dreams fulfilled. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Okay, so yeah, it does look like someone, there was hopes, there was dreams around the situation. And this is someone who's still holding on to those hopes. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. we have surrender to setting limits it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence so it's up to you if you want to revisit this or if you want to have a new beginning but there is a message here about setting limits okay so that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really really good day taurus bye taurus